their name for the narrow black band around their necks. Chinstrap penguins live on the islands and shores of the southern Pacific and Antarctic oceans. But their world is changing dramatically. They feed mainly on krill, small shrimp-like crustaceans. According to the scientists who've been conducting surveys over the last few weeks, the penguin numbers are dropping. We knew chinstrap penguins were on the decline in the, the wider Antarctic Peninsula region for a number of years now, but we're not sure if this is a widespread phenomenon or not. As we've been going along with this expedition, it's becoming pretty clear that just about everywhere we look, chinstrap penguins especially are, are on the decline. The scientists who travel to Western Antarctica on two Greenpeace ships use drones and manual surveying techniques to assess the scale of the damage. According to their data, the number of chin straps on Elephant Island, an important habitat, has plummeted, falling by around 60% since the last survey in 1971. It's now down to fewer than 53,000 breeding pairs. This pattern is evident in other chinstrap penguin colonies in the region. Extinction is not yet a concern, but there are lessons to be learned from the declining numbers. Something's happening to the fundamental building blocks of the food chain here, that perhaps it's, it's with the primary productivity, the phytoplankton or zooplankton, or perhaps it's just with the krill themselves, but we've, we've got less food abundance. Scientists believe the most likely cause is the climate crisis. The World Meteorological Organization says Antarctica has recorded its highest temperature, 18.3 degrees Celsius. I think we stand to lose much of what we love, uh, like the, the wildlife that we know from the oceans, like penguins, like we see on Elephant Island. But I think it also, in, in the end, is sort of how, what kind of world we want to live in. Our oceans are incredibly important uh, to regulate our global climate. The United Nations is meeting next month to try and agree a global ocean treaty. Greenpeace wants it to commit to protecting 30% of the world's oceans by 2030 to halt the damage and help stem the decline of the chin-strap penguin and other species. Francis Collings, TRT World.